Hello, it's Deborah from The French Attic and I've got the latest Your Creative Studio kit. Now, as you know, this is one of my favourites. I always look forward to receiving this. And there's a little thank you card when you open up the box. And this lists 14 things that are in this kit. So we're going to have a little look and see what we have. These are always packaged up in such a way that it's like opening a present. And these, oh, look at these, these are a little bit different to how they've been done in the past. So now there's the Your Creative Studio logo and everything on there. Tells you what's in here. This has got a cling stamp, this has got masking tape. This has uh, more cling stamps with uh, owls and birds. Okay, let's dive straight into this. I love how these are packaged. This is such a nice little, little detail now on these stamps. Oh wow, that's quite big. So it is an owl, the face of an owl, and there are two little snowflake stamps there as well. That's glorious, and this is uh, this looks like the kind that you can you can peel and stick onto an acrylic block. So we'll we'll test that out. This is masking tape. And the picture is of a bird, a crow, and that looks like what we have on here as well. Look at that, beautiful. I think I can see a theme. Oh, there's two more little snowflakes. And, ah, this time it's a full-size owl. And these two little snowflakes. And these two snowflakes are different to the first snowflake. So you have four little snowflake stamps there. This is another stamp. We're being really spoiled with stamps in this kit. And I have to say, this uh, this card packaging, it's, it's like a really strong paper. Not quite card. Oh, and another snowflake, and this is larger than the others. Slightly different design. And this is, oh wow, that's a mountain range. And another little snowflake stamp there. It's come slightly loose of its mooring. So I'll fix that. But there's a large one and a really tiny little snowflake. And this beautiful mountain scene. And it's great that it's got this picture on the uh, reverse, the image on the reverse, because it will help you position the stamp. And it also means you can see exactly what the stamped image will look like. So this is a little book with these pieces of paper in them that um, have, I think they have, yeah, they have a little, um, they're like tickets, so you can uh, just pull them away from the book. They're a really nice thing that you could, uh, you could tuck into a book and make notes on. Oh, wow. Let's see. These look like labels, many different types of labels. Different shapes and sizes. Oh, this is nice. This is classification. Bonjour. That must be for me. And a square one as well with hearts in it and round ones. Rectangular. Oh, no, not rectangular ones. They've got a little um, pull piece at the top. It's curly ones, ones that are like tags, more tags square ones, rectangular ones, and then some different coloured stickers. So these are good. You could use those to sticker down um, if you're using one of these. You could use the stickers to hold it in place in your book. Oh wow, these look gorgeous. I do like these um, parchment style things because it means that they're ever so slightly transparent and you can see through them. Let's see what this is. These are called washi stickers. Looks as if there are several of these on a sort of a mountain wildlife theme. Let's take a look. So we've got some stags and these are, these are stickers. So these are like um, almost transparent stickers, not quite trees. 
more stags and it's all looking a bit mountainy, wildlifey. There's a fir and buds. This is really nice, um, a really nice winter theme. That looks like it could be clouds with some birds there and a stag. That's a really nice scene. And these are uh, stickers. So these have got a, a covering on the back. You remove that and use them as stickers in your journal. I think these are beautiful, really, really beautiful. Oh, so this is oh, this is very pretty. This is a little owl. There's a snowflake there as well. Love that owl theme. I like that colour as well. I do like blue things. And this looks like it could be a bookmark. The um, card says glow in the dark owl bookmark so that must refer to this and maybe you connect these two up. <laughs> That's cool. These look like paper designs. Oh there's loads of them. as always in all these little packets you get so many of these things. These are gorgeous vintagey style Extracts from ledgers and uh, song books and advertisements and handwriting specimens are just glorious. And there are so many, so, so, so many in there. Here we have a vintage notepad. There's that beautiful owl design on the front. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love those colours. Sort of very soft blues and grey. Oh, different owl images as well. Really nice. Oh, that's just glorious. This is a wooden stamp. Of a stag baying at the moon by the looks of it. And some snowdrops around it. And this one is different again. This is, oh, that's pretty. So it's a sort of um, carousel scene with bunting on either side and some shooting stars in the top. The sticker sheet that Amanda always provides with these is, is as usual, absolutely gorgeous. This is owls. They're so lovely. Really, really nice. I'm not sure if they're meant to be textured, but it feels as if they are. And finally, some sheets of paper. These look like they are six by six. I haven't measured them, but that's just what they look like to me. Oh, these are so pretty. These are all the sheets all spread out in the beautiful sort of blues and browns that um, will work so beautifully with the notepad as well. And in lovely wintry shades. So this doesn't have to be about Christmas. This is about winter time. And we're still deep in winter where I am. <laughs> it feels very, very cold. So this is very appropriate. So this is what I've made from the, uh, the various items in the kit. I've made a bookmark. And the colours perfectly complement a journal that I made. Um, for the winter time using some papers available on my Etsy store and I'll provide a link below this video. But these beautiful um, browns and blues work together really really well so all I have to do is decide whereabouts in my journal I want to keep this bookmark. You can see how well it will coordinate and tie in and I've used one of the pieces in the kit that had the curved tab on the top so that when I close my journal I know exactly where my bookmark is. So, the other thing to tell you about this is that it opens out. Now I've put the uh, cut down the tab piece, I've added one of those beautiful um, stickers, the sort of parchment style stickers, one of these stickers on there to just emphasize the winter theme and I've also used one of the owl stamps at the bottom here and you can see I've got a lovely crisp image. I have to apologise for the lighting on this. Um, I've explained in other videos that in my new studio I've got one socket and it's extremely cold so I can either have heating or lighting and I've opted for heating because outside it's just below freezing and uh, that means that I'm working in natural light. So I hope that the natural light uh, still allows you to sort of see and appreciate how the tag has been put together. This has been put together using one of the 6x6 six six sheets folded in half. I've also added uh, one of the 6x6 six six sheets which I've ripped down the side and the top piece is one of the ones from the lovely Vintage Owl 
notepad. It's uh, this one here, which I've used a section from. Uh, I've taken one of the smaller pieces of paper from this kit. I've added another of the parchment style stickers on the top of that to give it some colour and used a one a tiny part of the washi tape that has the birds on it just to secure that little piece in place. And I can open this up and I can make little notes in here. I quite like the idea of having secret places in which I can write my things. So this um, is perfect for how I like to journal and it's a lovely compliment to a journal that I've already made. I hope that's given you a little inspiration for how you could use a kit like this. Do go and have a look at the kit details. I'll provide links below the video. If it doesn't immediately appear, click on the read more section that will open out a whole load of links and um, a little bit of background to the video. And it will take you straight to your Creative Studios website where you can have a look at subscribing and getting more kits like these. They really are the most glorious things and you get so much in each kit. For now, I'm going to say until we meet again, stay safe and take care.